What's going on people? It's the Xbox 448 and in today's video guys uh got a couple topics for you. Um one of them is about hardware and the other one is about software. So let's get into it guys and let's talk about the very first one and that is a new limited edition PS4 Pro. And um <laughs> I don't think anybody's surprised. It is the God of War 4 PS4. Now, let's take a look at this, guys. Uh, I'm going to put the image up here. And uh, there it is. Right there. That is the new PS4 limited edition for God of War. Now, while I have that picture up there, let me get into some of the details about this. So, Sony announced uh, their limited edition God of War PS4. Uh, it is going to be th uh, basically $400. And with that $400, you're going to get the limited edition console. You're going to get uh, the limited edition controller as well, because what is a console without a controller? You're going to get a physical copy of uh, God of War for PS4 and uh, digital content. And I'm not, sh I'm not sure if they mean... Um, you know, some extras in terms of outfits or anything like that for, for Kratos for the game or possibly DLC down the line. But you're getting all that for $400, which is, uh, that's cool with me. I mean, you're basically, you're not paying any more for a pro and you're getting a limited edition with the game. So that's cool. Now, when designing this, um, they designed this, this, this look of this console with the Leviathan Axe in mind. Uh... They knew that it would have, uh, I'm quoting right here, it would have far more meaning not only to the game, but to the fans. Uh, Santa Monica Studio was extremely proud to adorn the custom PS4 Pro with the Leviathan Axe in such detailed fashion. Now, there's people out there on social media who um, are, are really dogging this thing, saying it looks absolutely horrible. I, I think it looks, I actually think that, think it looks cool uh the front of the ps4 pro uh this limited edition one also comes with runes that represent each realm that kratos is going to go through uh in in terms of this game so you know with that being said i i like the way it looks uh you let me know in the comment section what do you think how, how do you think this this looks uh is it something that you're interested in are you thinking about getting this bundle or, or whatnot. It is available for pre-order. I, I believe it's going to come out when uh, God of War does come out. I believe that's the end of this month. So, um, looking forward to it. I'm personally, I'm not going to get it. I don't have the four hundred dollars to to get it. I I have my PS4. It's not a pro. It's just a regular PS4. I have it sitting right next to me, and I, I'm completely happy with that right now. I don't I don't see a need to upgrade. Um, I don't have a 4K television, and when it comes down to it, in terms of mid-gen refreshes, the PlayStation is the one that's pretty much the up-res when it comes to the Pro, and I don't have a TV that can really do that whole up-res thing. I do have an Xbox One X, and that is because within those enhancements, there are games that actually uh, put in you know, better textures and lighting and stuff like that to really improve the quality of the visuals or the look of the game and um with that i i felt like that was an investment that i could partake in there's something called super sampling which you know both consoles have but at the end of the day uh super sampling on something that's just pretty much up a game isn't going to do much for me so we're going to go ahead and take that image off and we're going to talk about the next thing and the next thing is None other than Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy is going multi-plat, people. Uh, it is going to the Switch, the PC, and the Xbox One on July 10th. Now, for people who don't know, this game already came out for the PS4. It actually came out last year. It came out June 30th of 2017. And uh, a lot of people are really excited about this game going multi-plat now i haven't seen too many pc people get excited but uh people who have a switch I, I really see them getting excited with this and i think when it comes to crash bandicoot uh in other platforms other than ps4 i think the switch is a perfect 
fit for it. it it's it's got that atmosphere. It's got that cartooniness. Now I know there are cartoony games on the Xbox or whatnot, but just in my mentality, my state of mind, I feel like this game fits perfectly on the Switch. But for people who are fans of Crash and only have an Xbox One, you can also get this game on July 10th for that console as well. I will let you know, I am not a Crash Bandicoot fan. Uh, I never was. I, I never really liked the game. Um, so, you know, be it what it may, the game's not for me, but I'm excited for people who who do like the franchise, who, who do get into that game. You're getting remasters of the first three Crash Bandicoots. Uh, they all look really good. I, I can't I can't lie, man. Um, I'm about that common sense. I think I think the games, from what I've seen from PS4 gameplay, they look really nice, man. Really good upgrade, you know, coming into this generation. So, any Crash Bandicoot fans out there, I am really excited for you guys. Uh, remember to go and and pick this up on your preferred platform because now there are hashtag choices. But with that being said, guys, uh, pretty quick video for now. Um, as usual, you know, you like the topics, you like the gameplay, definitely hit that thumbs up button for me. Um, if you haven't subscribed, definitely subscribe. Not only do I have a podcast that goes live every Saturday on this channel, 7 p.m. Eastern, because everybody knows East Coast. That's, that is the best coast right there. But uh, it's 7 p.m. Eastern, and, uh, you know, we have an incredible panel. We actually show gameplay. Um, you can vote on the gameplay after the show. Uh, it's just a lot of really cool kind of innovative things for a, a true gamers podcast, which is what I feel next podcast is. So if you haven't subscribed yet, definitely subscribe. Definitely hit hit that bell so this way you know when I'm dropping videos and, and stuff like that. But, um, you know, hit up the comment section. I want to know what you think about the God of War uh, limited edition PS4. I know I've I've gotten a lot of, a lot of I guess you could say colorful opinions about that thing on, on Twitter. Um, I Like I said, I think it looks cool. I like the design. I like uh, how they took the, the Leviathan axe and they kind of simplified it a little bit and, and put it on top of that console. So this way, I, I think it fits better in kind of like somebody's living room or bedroom. It just fits there more than if you did just kind of like a realistic looking Leviathan axe. Now, I will say the the symbols within the axe as well are kind of like uh, it's an upgrade kind of like tier system. So as you upgrade Kratos, as he gets more skills and stuff like that, you're going to see more parts of that axe light up. So I think that's really cool. You won't see him light up on the console, but I'm talking about in the game. So, it, you know, I, I like the fact that they really put they put some like thought into this. And uh, I, I like that about that. I, I feel that. You know, a lot, a majority of their PS4s, the limited editions, really lacked, um, really lacked that that thought and personality. I mean, you can look at the 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 Call of Duty, um, World War II, which was just basically a camo. It wasn't even the accurate camo for for that war at that point in time. Uh, look at the Black Ops Three, which is just basically an uh, orange outline of the Roman numeral three on the top. Like I. At least with this one, there's a lot more thought that went into it. I put it as one of my top three limited edition PS4s. Uh, the first one being the the Destiny 1 limited edition. The white one with kind of like that gold map that, that they put over the top of that. Um, second was a PS4 Slim. I believe it was uh, Final Fantasy 7. It had the moon on the top. And then this one comes in third for me. But hit up the comment section. Let me know what you think. Um, and like I said, if you haven't subscribed yet definitely subscribe but as for now this is the xbox 448 and i am definitely signing off Trying to get demons up out of me Turn to a beast, eat your arteries Deceasing opponents so properly Unleashing the dark side, what got to me We come to take this shit over